For third grader Maggie Hedinger, life is good. A loving family, special friends, and a caring community. Well, Maggie was born um, in China. She's the youngest of five. Well, Corey's our oldest and Maggie's the youngest. They have kind of a neat relationship because Corey got to travel to China with us. He was 10 at the time when we traveled to China to adopt Maggie. So they've always kind of had a special little relationship. She also formed a special relationship with her neighbors. So my daughter is from China and um, we adopted her when she was eight months old. And that's how I first saw the Hedinger family, like just saw them from afar. Here's this wonderful big family. And then we discovered we lived in the same neighborhood. <laughs> and I help with Miranda in the mornings. I, I watch their daughter. And Maggie and Miranda are really good friends. While Maggie loves playing with her friends, she is limited in what she can do. She was born without a left hand. She does have some struggles with her disability. You know, when she was littler at school, it was hard for her to learn how to cut. It's hard for her to take the caps off of markers. Sometimes there's things in gym class that they might be doing, um, like jumping rope. There's some other things that still are a little bit difficult for her to do without, with just having one hand. It was last summer that I was, I think I was on Facebook, and I saw, um, I came across a video and an article about the robo hand. And the neat thing about the robo hand was that they were saying it's easy to make with a 3D printer, you know, it's cost efficient and all of this stuff. And I thought, we need a 3D printer. <laughs> so um, I think Corey was around, my son Corey, and, and I was like, Corey, look at this, you know, this is really cool. He said, well, mom, you know, they have a 3D printer at TAPS. Corey, a student at CAPS, knew he would need help from his teacher, Keith Manbeck, and his family's good friend, Meg Holloway, to produce a working robo hand. Whenever you enter into a, a multidisciplinary project, you're thinking, you know, what, what is everyone's role going to be? And of course, there's the engineering students learning how to use a 3D printer, which is itself an, an art, but also learning how to actually generate a product so for my students that have been involved in this project, it's thinking about engineering from a very human perspective. How are we going to help the engineering folks look at this through the lens of human eyes um, versus just a project, um, versus just a part that we're building? So putting those two things together creates some amazing synergy. The teaching aspect of it, you know, for Corey's sake and for the other people who are involved is great, but when you put that face to the project, you know, you know the person that you're making this for, it makes you really push harder to find the solution for this person, you know, so it really does make it a lot more special. My teacher, Mr. Manbeck, last semester was, he helped me a lot with uh, printing, printing off the very first version of it, which was a snap pen version. When I finished that, I was able to actually hold a functioning hand. And now Maggie is experimenting to see what her new hand can do. She does not want to take it off. She, you know, wanted to wear it to bed the other night and she got right out of bed in the morning and put it on. And she keeps thinking of more and more things that she'd like to try to do with it. A hand that brought a family and a community together. It's been an awesome project overall. I mean, not only for my son Corey, um, but for Maggie and her self-esteem. She feels good about it. Um, she is able to do more things with it. We definitely are so thankful to everyone who had um, input in this, you know, from all of the people at CAPS, but even the teachers and staff at Stanley who have been just always so supportive of Maggie. Here's this kid that I adore. Here's our neighbor. She comes over and plays in our yard. And I love this kid. And the fact that I can pull together resources just by asking, a simple ask, and um, have everyone jump in and help, it means the world to me. It means the world to me.